Understanding Arthritis Arthritis typically refers to joint inflammation. However, in medical terms, it's used to describe over 100 conditions related to joints, tissues surrounding the joints, and several other connective tissues. It's a medical condition that can be found in men and women, old and young alike. However, it tends to be more common in people over the age of 65 or in women in comparison to men. The two more common types of arthritis are osteoarthritis and rheumatoid arthritis. Amongst the most common symptoms of arthritis, joint pain, stiffness, swelling and redness in the area around the joints, numbness and a tingling sensation are prevalent, whereas symptoms like fatigue, fever, swollen glands and rapid weight loss are more specific to certain types of arthritis. While these symptoms may seem harmless at first sight, they can have lasting impact on your overall well-being. Persistent stiffness and joint inflammation leads to poor physical function and may even affect regular mobility in the long run. In cases where large joints are affected by arthritis, there is a chance of cartilage loss and motion limitation, and in smaller joints such as those found in the fingers, bone growth and grip strength may primarily be affected. The causes of arthritis may vary depending on the type, such as osteoarthritis is caused due to the breakdown of the cartilage tissue below the normal level. The loss of cartilage triggers the body's repair process, where a tiny bit of extra bone grows at the end of the affected joint and an increase in the fluid inside the joint is observed. Typically, your chances of osteoarthritis are heightened if there is any family history of the disease. Whereas rheumatoid arthritis is caused by an autoimmune disorder, the body's immune system attacks synovium, which is a tissue responsible for producing the fluid that lubricates the joints and nourishes cartilage. Early onset signs of arthritis, such as joint pain, redness, and swelling around the joints are the best reason to get a diagnosis scheduled from your primary care physician. A physical exam will be performed by the doctor to check for any swelling, redness, or warmth in the joints. Furthermore, a joint aspiration analysis may be performed to evaluate the joint fluid against normal conditions. Additionally, blood tests and urine samples may be taken to further pin down the exact type of arthritis. A blood sample rich in the antibodies known as rheumatoid factors suggest rheumatoid arthritis. Once a diagnosis has been performed and the root cause of the condition has been determined, it's much easier to decide on a treatment. The intention of any arthritis treatment is to promote joint strength and mobility and to keep the inflammation under control. Occupational therapy helps regulate normal activities and teaches the body to remain active. Medicine is also prescribed depending upon the seriousness of the condition. Medicine helps contain inflammation and promotes functional recovery of the affected joints. As a last resort, surgery is always on the table. The goal of surgery is to repair loss of mobility and reduce inflammation. Amongst the most common surgeries for arthritis are joint replacement surgery and synovectomy. However, surgery is only recommended in the most dire cases.